Hi, it's Joanne from Joanne's Doggy Schmacks, and we're making dog treats today, keeping the older dog in mind. I've added some beneficial ingredients. We have pumpkin puree, we have beef bone broth, and hemp hearts. We're gonna use this as our cookie cutter. So we're gonna start with some brown rice flour, and we are going to use a half a cup. And we are going to add a half a cup of teff flour. You may or may not be uh, familiar with teff. Teff is used in the Ethiopian flatbread called injera. It has a really lovely taste, and that's why I'm including that, because you don't have to add a lot of fat to give taste to this particular biscuit. We're also going to add some buckwheat flour, a half a cup of that. And we are adding that because it's a wonderful source of fiber, and that helps with digestive issues also. Throw that in there. The next ingredient, flaxseed meal. Flaxseed meal helps with the skin and coat of your dog. And I've already pre-measured it. We're only using a quarter cup of this. It's also cru crucial in gluten-free biscuits in holding everything together. So put that over there. Going to add some sunflower seeds and we are going to chop those up so they are easier to digest. And we're using a tablespoon of pulled sunflower seeds. You do not want sunflower seeds to have the, uh, their coat, their hull on them. And you wanna make sure that your seeds are unsalted also. So let's chop these up. So this is a good source of unsaturated fat. I'm chopping on this tiny little cutting board that was a gift to me from my sister. She is a pampered chef rep. Let's put this in here. I ended up using my Anthony Bourdain global knife. It wasn't really his knife, but he liked these knives. Pop that in there. Then we're gonna add the hemp hearts. I know that's kind of crazy to think that you would give your dog hemp hearts, but high in protein and really does help with uh, joint health and does not contain CBD at all. So we're gonna use a tablespoon of that. And this is what it looks like. Really pretty and kind of tastes like cashew to me. So we're gonna add that in there. And then we're gonna give this a little stir. Then we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of bone broth, beef bone broth. You could use chicken too. Let's put that in there. And we are going to add a half a cup of pumpkin. And we are gonna put that in there. And I guess that's a half a cup, yes. I can't see so well out of these glasses up close anymore, guys. All right, here we go. Get enough pumpkin in there. There we go. That's for digestive issues. That will help your dog a lot. We're gonna stir this around before we decide if we need that tablespoon of oil in the end. So let's get this going. It's looking pretty good here. Might not need that. I think we're gonna dump this on the board before we decide. And that's the kind of weird thing about making dog treats. You 100% want them to be crispy because your dog likes them that way. You want them to last a long time. You don't want to have to keep them in the refrigerator and you want them to stay fresh. Uh, guess what? It does need that tablespoon of oil. Fabulous. That means I did a good recipe. Throw that in there. Move this out of the way because we're going to throw this down in a second. Woo! Runaway rolling pin. We do not need that. We have a visiting canine tester roaming the floors. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is a workout, you guys. <laughs> All right, so I do remember when I made this before that I did just my board with a little bit of brown rice flour. So we're gonna do that right now. And we're gonna throw this on there. And we're gonna put a little bit more
warm brown rice flour, dust the top. And here we go. You might be looking at it and saying, hey, that's a little bit more of a dusting than I would call a dusting, and that's true. But look at it now, perfect. All right, so we're gonna flatten that out. Look at him, he's beautiful. Ooh, feels alive. I think that's the uh, the teff flour. The teff flour gets real kind of fat. I put a little more on here so we can roll it out nicely. And here we go. Start in the middle, roll toward the edges. Yeah, this dough feels like it's alive. We're gonna put this here, pat that down a little bit, and start cutting out with our hearts. I use the wiggle technique to lift and separate, but in this case, it's not lifting and separating, so I have a backup method, which involves a spatula, handy dandy. So we are going to Put these out. They're looking good, just the right width, which should be about an eighth of an inch. Uh, they'll cook quickly. It is 350 degree oven, 12 minutes flip, 12 more minutes. I like uh, dog treats that cook quickly because I live in an environment that's very hot and I don't really want anything in the oven for a prolonged period of time. So what I'm gonna do is put these on a baking pan with a piece of parchment paper to keep the bottoms uh, from burning or sticking. And then I'm gonna come back and show you what they look like. Let me get the baking sheet. Cookie, they feel great. Cookie, cookie, that one. No good. All right, we're gonna extricate these. We have one. Let's get rid of this. I'm gonna come back to this extra dough and make more. Okay, almost finished. They do smell like pumpkin. And I just wasted one, you guys. I have a spot in the kitchen and I so want to move out of my spot, but I'm not going to do it. Just three more and then we will start cooking and I will be back in, what did I say? 12 and 12, 24 minutes. I've lost my tester. He's roaming around, but he'll be back. And maybe Tori too. She was hiding last time. Ted is off. Ted. Jake is off on an adventure, so he's not going to be tasting with us today. And let's clean that one up a little bit. All right. Going in the oven. And here we have it. Pumpkin teff hemp hearts. Aren't they beautiful? We're about to find out if my taste testers like them. Well, let's see what we have here. Uh, they've been out for a minute or two. I think that we can uh, test them. They're not too hot. One for Moose and one for Tori. But you guys, you need to assume the position. Over here. Jake. I mean, <laughs> Moose. Come over here. Good boy. Tori, over here. Sit. Good girl. Let's see about Tori. Ooh, Tori, that was enthusiastic. 
Moose. Yum. Okay. Oh, Tori, she took it away like it was a mouse that she'd capture. She's, you have to trust me. She likes this one. And Moose is already finished. You ready? Yum. Good. We have a success. Thanks for watching. Yeah.